Hi traders, I'm back from a two week holiday and the uh, first candidate for me is PDD which is down 11% and it looks like quite a promising gap and go because the first candle was green and then the second candle as you can see is red and I'm about to short my second candle right here 4000 shares. I need to see it coming under the lows just touch the lows I think it just came down yeah just a bit just a bit well not enough let's wait. PDD is not doing good. As you can see lots of uh, bottoming tails here and I'm going to close it over the highs which is 87.50 and it is getting close oh spiked up 40 cents over I'm closing it now. Well uh, a very unpleasant $8,000 loser PDD was supposed to be a gap and go was supposed to come down under this level there but did not I'll wait for a second chance because the stock is down 12%. Fiverr looks like another short opportunity FVRR stock is gapping down today not much just 1% but I love the technical formation here for a short under 117. So just in case it's going to come down look at the buyers here oh just moved down I clicked. Well I shouldn't I shouldn't I chased it down 50 cents look at my feel here that's a bad feel it's just that it has a little bit less volume than I expected but uh, look how lovely it looks now I'm up $2300. I should have taken my partial if I had a good feel by now I should have taken my partial I did not and that's the <laughs> and that's the problem with a bad feel. You chased it down a little bit more you expect it to continue coming down not because it did not do what I expected it to look at the beautiful breakdown here more than the point I should have had my partial if I had the right entry but I chased it down that was a mistake I shouldn't have done that and it's all due to the low volume. I'm going to take a big chance in Tesla today I'm waiting for a short opportunity I know it sounds crazy to you because it's up 3% and it's trending higher but no you need to take a look at the daily the stock is over $2,000 people love to buy it when it came up to $2,000 but now there's going to be some profit taking Tesla will come down under the lows today and I'm about to short big risk trade $4,000 right now I'm short. So I just went short Tesla assuming Tesla is going to come down under the lows and you know when I posted uh, my pick today it was pre-market time here in the trading room I mean some people thought I'm kind of crazy thinking Tesla is going to come down today and I was really waiting for this opportunity to see Tesla moving higher and to the point where there will be some start of a profit taking and look at the way it comes down right now it looks great. Well Tesla did look great no longer now it's trending higher. I still trust it to come down I knew I was taking a big risk and I'm down like 60 grand right now I knew I'm getting into a 60 100,000 dollar potential loser or possibly winner I still think Tesla is going to come down under the lows because it's up too much and I think that it's probably just you know still trying to figure out the direction here I'm getting ready in fact to add just in case I'm right and it's going to come down under 2060 look at this level over here that's going to prove to me that I was right and that would be the place where I will add to my short taking a huge risk but at the point where I think it's clearly going to come down and Tesla does look like it's failing to move higher well it still is trending higher I know you take a look at Tesla right now and you think it's going to continue moving over the highs but you need to take a look at the daily in order to understand why I still think it's going to come down under the lows and I'm going to add 2000 shares taking a huge risk under 2060 and look at it it's getting real close there and I'm about to do that right now well I thought it was coming under 2060 it just touched it but it's failing it's definitely is failing it tried to move higher and I'm quite sure it's going to come down I'm waiting. PDD is giving me a second chance here I'm going to short it real soon now as you can see I moved out earlier here when it moved over the highs but now it's proving to me that I was initially right just the timing was wrong about to short higher size 8000 shares here now I'm shorting bigger size 8000 shares not in order to you know um, reduce my loss my initial loss or to pay back my loss or whatever I'm doing that because right now the technical formation is better much much better than the first one it failed to move higher and I think now I've got a better chance on shorting it. 
And here comes Tesla. I'm up $60,000 right now. I think I'm right, $70,000, $80,000. And it's going. And it's going. And Tesla does look great. And I am waiting, exactly as I mentioned earlier, for Tesla to move down under the lows. Because that was my initial expectation based on the daily of Tesla. You need to understand this. When everybody's asking you whether they should buy Tesla, asking your opinion, friends, family, girlfriend, whoever is asking you whether they should buy Tesla, they're usually wrong. You know, when you're trading, you should have the mindset of going the opposite way of where the crowd is going. When the crowd is buying Tesla, that's the place where a lot of people will take the profits. That's the place where Tesla should come down. I'm not saying crash. I'm just saying Tesla should move down today and it should move down under the lows because there will be a lot of profit taking. And look at the technical formation right now. It proves me that I was right. I'm not there yet. I'm up only $60,000 right now, shorting 6,000 shares. That means just over 10 points. And there's a long way to go. <laughs> Look at that. Look at Tesla coming down over $100,000. I'm still waiting for, uh, for it to come down on the lows. You know, I planned a trade which uh, could have been a $100,000 loser if it moved over the highs. But my plan was to take Tesla all the way down under the lows because that's where it's going and look at it coming down. I'm already up $130,000, $130,000 and I needed to see, I need to see it under the lows. You know, it should be extremely easy for me now to click the button and take my partial, here comes 150. I want to do that. I had a target. I knew what I was waiting for and it has to be a move under 2033 under the laws and it's just about to happen and that was my plan I was waiting for this and I gotta see it happening because that when you plan something you have to go all the way and you know just uh, just work according to your plan and I just get <laughs> a new law getting ready for my partial about to click the button that's the price I was waiting for I was waiting for a new law and it seems like it's going to pull back up, took my partial. That's a huge trade. I was at two weeks holiday and I just came back and found Tesla waiting for me uh, with a huge overextended daily for a short that I expected. I posted this trade pre-market time. It just came down under the lows and I'm really, really so happy. I've got uh, over $140,000 in Tesla and I've still got 400 shares open. PD is doing great. Um, up $2,000. That's of course uh, does not cover my initial loss, but I'm going to do something special now. I'm going to add another 4,000 shares if it comes under $86. In fact, Amir called it in the trading room. Look at the buyers at 86. Look at the number of buyers. It's coming down, coming down, coming down. Click the button because you see the number is coming down. I'm short another 4,000 shares. Look at the number of buyers. Look at the number of buyers. They're gone. Sometimes you add when you see the number of buyers decline. You don't have to wait to the $86 mark. You can short before. PDD did great. As you can see, it moved down 75 cents below $86. And I'm about to take my partial right here uh, now, which kind of covered and a little bit more my first initial loss in PDD. That was not my target to cover my loss, but that turned out to be a nice trade. Fiverr's doing real bad. Uh, as you may remember, I should have taken my partial here. I had a bad feel. I was right. The stock did come down, but now it's just going sideways and I'm about to close it at a loss and I'm closing it right now. So uh, instead of having um, a winner, I have an unpleasant loser in Fiverr, but the rest of my day is just absolutely great. And uh, take a look at Tesla here. As you can see here, Tesla, um, my, my, my target was under the loss to take my partial under the loss, which, uh, which I did right here at this bottoming tail. And that was just great. The, the, the exact place where I should have taken my partial. That was my plan. That was my partial. And now Tesla is moving higher. My last 400 shares are out. I had $10,000 riding on that uh, 400 shares and uh, it's, it's done. It's finished with. So um, I still have a huge winner in Tesla. But as you can see, it's trending higher. I had no idea what Tesla is going to do later. 
I only had the idea that Tesla is going to come down and the result is $146,000 in profits and as you can see here I've got uh, a very small winner in PDD just covered my loss and a bit more and a loser in uh, FVRR I'm still riding 100 shares of PDD but I've got a great $140,000 day winner and here's a link to join our live trading room for a free 14 day trial because you know traders every trade I took today was posted in the trading room my Tesla trades everything we all trade together we all try and make money together this is not an easy occupation trading is hard but we do make the best of it thank you very much for watching and looking forward to trading with you see you bye thank you for watching our video before you go we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.